to topic two of abnormal psychology. We're going to talk about the causes and the viewpoints of maladaptive behaviors and mental illness. Usually we look at mental illness and maladaptive behaviors as a combination of how vulnerable a person is to that illness and what kinds of stresses and challenges that they are going through at that time and compare it to how well they are coping. The oldest viewpoint on abnormal behavior is Freud's psychoanalytic view. There's been a strong relationship between early influences in a child's life, like with the mother-infant bond, that shows that this could be a contributor to psychological illness. Behave behaviorism, on the other hand, focuses on the role of learning in human behavior, and it views maladaptive behavior as either a failure to learn the appropriate behavior, or you learn the maladaptive behavior. In cognitive behavioralism, the viewpoint attempts to incorporate how we think and how we act. The sociocultural view is concerned of the influences that our social environment has put on us, and it looks at that environment to see if it has made us more resilient. We're still a long way from the goal of completely understanding human behavior and abnormal behavior. There are so many theoretical perspectives that have given us a very good start, but they fall short because we need to understand the human complexities through psychology, chemistry, biology, genetics, sociology, and so forth. There are so many different viewpoints to have to consider when we look at what causes abnormal behavior.